Hello, you big smashers. Today I'm talking about comments and the power of comments. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So some of you probably know that, that I recently did an interview with Richard Vobes, which went fantastically well, and loads of people saw the video, which was lovely. And because of that, lots of people came and joined our Peaceful Rebellion. Hello to all the new people. Thank you for coming to join us. And I've also met some really interesting people who want to do chats in the future, which I'm going to do. So in, in terms of positive outcome, fantastic. However, I made one big blunder, a really big blunder. That big blunder is one that a lesson that I'd already learned. I'd already learned it, but I'd forgotten. What was the lesson? The lesson is when a lot of people see a video, don't read the comments. Now you see, I've been spoiled. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll be frank. I've been spoiled by the beautiful people who watch these videos. Why? Because my videos get around about, I don't know, 300 to 500 views across BitChute, maybe, maybe a bit more, 600 views. The comments that I get are always lovely, beautiful, all the time, constantly beautiful comments and, you know, thank you and that was great and that really helped and just beautiful. So I've been spoiled. You see before when I used to do uh, videos on ex Jehovah's Witnesses, um, for ex Jehovah's Witnesses, not on them, I used to get a lot of backlash. And the comments that I would get at the beginning used to affect me so much. So much so that I realized that I had to do a bit of like therapy. I needed a bit of therapy to overcome the fact that I would get upset about these comments. Okay, that was when I was a bit of a people pleaser. And having a negative comment is like, for a people pleaser, is the worst thing that could possibly happen in the world. Worse than Armageddon. So, like a mug, I saw all of these comments on Richard's video, Richard and my video. And I started to read them. Well, the first, the first 20 comments were fantastic, lovely, resonate with this conversation, fantastic. I'm going over to Peace for Rebellion, that wonderful. And I was saying, oh, that's nice, that's nice. And then I arrived at the first stumbling block, which was, first of all, I mean, rightly enough, we knew that the people who, who fundamentally believe in the Bible were gonna have an issue with what I was saying, of course. I did say right at the beginning, nobody knows the truth. <laughs> you know, we're just kind of scattering it. You know, who knows the truth? So they were very upset. And I was called all the names under the sun, mostly demonic. Although somebody, somebody did push the board out and called me a peed or Bile. I'll split that up just so that you know we'll keep those things separate. We don't want them together anyway. We don't want a whole one, do we? You wouldn't be able to eat it all, would you? Which is what they deserve. So um, they called me that. Now I've been called that before. Yes, I have on my old channel. Somebody said, just looking at you, I can tell that you are. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know? Just looking at somebody. You know, I don't know. I mean, some people, yes, you can look at them and think, kitty fiddler, definitely. But generally, I mean, I've never looked at myself, myself and thought, Gordon, you've got a bit of a dodgy look about you. Watch out for that look. You know, get the Mac off and the cap. So that there you are. Okay. And then there were other comments about, you know, I, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about and 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 that somebody went into this long-winded explanation of how I didn't know anything about what I was saying. I wasn't good enough to talk about the subjects I was told about. It was just like... <laughs> and my wife was reading the comments and she was getting herself all worked up, you know, on my behalf. So it was, as I was going down, my mind said, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I stopped. I stopped reading the comments. And I haven't read them since. Why? Because it doesn't matter. 
like I think I know the last time I looked maybe 30,000 people had seen that that uh, video that's a lot of people percentage wise not everyone's gonna like it how can they you know you can't please all the people all the time so what I'm aware of is that definitely the people who needed to see that and the, the people uh, with whom that resonated well, they came over to Peaceful Rebellion and, and it's been beautiful. I mean, you know, maybe 150 people came to join the group. So that was beautiful. I'm really, really happy about that. But it was kind of like another lesson, another lesson for the, you know, <laughs> for the ego to say, uh, not everyone likes you. And again, I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled. I can't, I can't say any other, you know, People just saying, hey, that's really nice. And then, and then awful things. But that's fine. That's good. Because we need this, as long as, as long as there's room for everyone to have that opinion. People can have that opinion, but they must allow me to have that opinion. And they must allow you to have that opinion. That's the only difference. Do you know where, where I've seen this before? This is a, 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 an important point that I wanted to make. When I first started waking up 20 years ago, I would go into the, I would go into the, um, the comments of videos and I would see a lot and lots of really angry people, very angry people, angry people, you know, you're a shill, blah, 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 blah. And what I think it is, is that the people, and there are many who are waking up, I mean, all the people that are watching Richard's uh, videos they're in a process of waking up otherwise they wouldn't be watching his videos they're really pissed off and you can tell there's like this this the hackles are up and they're looking for I mean what happens is right all of your life you've been lied to lied to you find out that you've been lied to what happens well you go into hypersensitivity you know where you, you think right who's lying to me now bastards bunch of bastards okay and so everybody if it doesn't resonate with you then you just assume that that you're being lied to these are shills these are whatever yeah so i think what it is what what showed me loads of people are waking up right not everybody wants i mean you know i what i was talking about is like after a long time of going through the waking up process i'm ch i'm chatting on a certain level that we get to and then other people are just in the waking up process of like, holy shit, there's something wrong. What was nice was that all of the people that came over, they were on the same wavelength. So that shows that there are, there are lots of people who were rapidly going through the waking up process. And there are lots of people who were, who were, who were hurting, who were wounded through the process. That's okay, because there's, there's only one way. There is never any return in the waking up process. Once awake, you cannot go back to sleep. Impossible. Even if you deny what you, what's happening, you still can't go back to sleep. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Once you've heard it, you can't unhear it. That's the problem. And it isn't even a problem. That's the blessing. So lots of people already are shifting up to what we would call, it's just a process. Nobody's better than anybody else. I was exactly where those people were. I was very angry when I discovered that I'd been lied to. I was furious. I was really angry and I spent so long telling people and being angry. Oh my God, it was awful. So we just get through to a, a different stage. And I know that there are lots of people who are a million miles ahead of me in terms of the waking up process. But that's fine. They can show us the way. And they always have. They've shown me the way. You know, I, I've looked to people who have who just seem to be so in touch with the spirituality, so in touch with understanding how the world is. And I've followed them. You know, and, and where we are, people will follow us. And where they are, people will follow them. You know, the, the, you're not going to talk about reincarnation, you know, higher beings, paradise, 5D. You're not going to talk about that with people who've just woken up. They want to know... What's happening with the government? What's happening with the churches? What's happening with, with politics? But that's medicine. That's what they want to know. And here's us airy-fairy buggers 
airy fairy talking about you know oh frequency energy and 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 all of that yeah and it just doesn't wash with them and it never will until they come up and then maybe later on they'll say hey now i know what they were talking about but hey that's their journey and this is our journey so if you've come to join us thank you but a special thank you to all of the people who were already here because we've created this beautiful beautiful group um, of supportive people who are all looking out for one another and so that's beautiful and if you do want to join peaceful rebellion just remember that you come there as a supportive member and our job is to support one another that's that's how we're going to get through this all yeah all right i love you all and i'll speak to you all. just don't read the comments all right don't read the fucking comments i'll speak to you all later i love you all bye-bye